Welcome to Jobs and Pods, the only podcast where real employers talk about their jobs and tell you what it's like to work there. I'm your host, Peter Clayton. This job cast will feature pharmaceutical careers with Merck and Company. Merck is a global research driven pharmaceutical company dedicated to putting patients first. Established in 1891, Merck discovers, develops, manufactures, and markets vaccines and medicines to address unmet medical needs. The the company also devotes extensive efforts to increase access to medicines through far-reaching programs that not only donate Merck medicines, but help deliver them to the people who need them. Merck Manufacturing hires in a variety of areas, including the Chemical Process Development and Commercialization Department, or CPDC for short. Joining us today from CPDC is Aaron Cote. Aaron, thanks for joining us on Jobs and Pods. Thank you, Peter. It's uh, my pleasure to be here. Without getting too scientific, Aaron, can you give us an overview of what your part of the company does? So CPDC is uh, responsible for uh, developing uh, processes to make the active ingredient, which will ultimately be provided to uh, colleagues in the formulation area who will make that into the final drug products that will uh, supply cl- clinical studies, safety studies, and ultimately become uh, marketed drugs, we hope. Uh, we work very closely with colleagues in uh, process research chemistry group, developing both the, uh, the lab scale process, so a lot of what we do involves process development in a lab which is then translated into larger-scale operations, uh, specifically in the pilot plants, which we also maintain and operate. We then transfer the knowledge that we acquire during that development to supply. Um, Actually, we're responsible for commercializing the drug, and then ultimately we will take our process to a supply site where it will be applied through the uh, duration of our manufacture of that, that particular drug product. Can you tell our Jobs and Pods listeners about technology development when it comes to creating new medicines and vaccines? I think technology development is actually sort of a, the, the core of what we do, and, and it's certainly a large part of uh, what my department does. Uh, we've set up a technology oversight committee and a series of technology working groups and, 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 and scouting opportunities uh, in order to make sure that, first of all, that we're developing the technologies that are that are core to to our job function, but also to make sure that we're we're looking outside our department and, and looking at other areas at Merck and, and outside of of Merck and even outside of the pharmaceutical industry uh, to see what technologies are out there, which technologies are evolving and emerging, and which of those that we should be embracing and and, and you know bringing in house and developing. Um, uh, expertise in to hopefully ultimately give us uh, a competitive advantage, uh, allow us to do our work more efficiently, you know, have uh, lower cost processes and things like this. So uh, we actually spend quite a bit of time thinking about technology, thinking about how it fits into our overall strategy. I'm actually on, on that technology oversight committee, and we've recently had a uh, cross-functional meeting with colleagues throughout Merck talking about how, how the strategies in, these, in the various areas fit together and, and to make sure that we're aligned and and taking advantage of, of sort of all the synergies that exist between our, our various groups. Aaron, can you tell us what skill sets you typically look for in candidates that come into your organization? Sure. So we're predominantly a chemical engineering department. Um, we actually, our department used to be referred to as chemical engineering research and development. We've always been a, a process development group that uh, has both a a uh, lab component and also a, a pilot plant or, or manufacturing component. Um, there are some chemists in our department as well. Uh, most are uh, localized in a specialized lab we call the reaction engineering lab. But the chemical engineering and chemistry technical skills are really core to what we do. This is fairly sort of fundamental chemical engineering, the types of things you do learn a lot about in school. You know, so we're doing some of the standard unit operations of reactions and distillations and crystallizations, things that you know a lot of the chemical engineers learn as core, uh, coursework uh, as part of their undergrad and grad degrees. We're looking for people who are really strong in those areas. So this is, like, as I said, we put an emphasis on technology development. So we're looking for people who are very strong technically, people who are innovative, you know, who know how to solve problems, and people who seek out problems, people who have a mentality that's very much geared toward finding better ways to do things. It's a very dynamic environment. Mm-hmm. So uh, we see a lot of drug candidates. Uh, there's a, a lot of cross-functional interactions. You know, there's a lot of balancing of priorities and multitasking required. So folks that thrive on that variety, that, that thrive on technical challenges, tend to, to do well, and those are folks we tend to target. There's a lot of 
uh, teamwork. Uh, emphasis is put on being able to communicate effectively, being effective collaborators, you know, being part of team-oriented sort of a, a, an atmosphere. Aaron, what impact does this organization make and the roles within it on, on your business? So I think what we're probably most responsible for really is developing robust, scalable processes, ideally uh, processes um, that can be uh, readily transported, or what we call portable processes, so, so processes that can be run in, in, in factories around the world. Um, a real, you know, I, I think two of the big drivers for us right now are speed. You know, we really want to be you know, getting drugs to market as fast as possible, and, and so we never want to be on the critical path in this department. We always want to make sure that our processes are being developed in advance of the timelines, but also really thinking about driving down costs. So we're looking very much to, to find... Um, efficient ways to develop processes, to drive to very efficient processes. But again, a, a big part of this is really about making our drugs accessible. Um, there are, you know, obviously, you know, third world countries where uh, expensive drugs really aren't a viable option. And so for us to be able to drive down costs and, and, and create that access to our drugs uh, is, a, is a really important part uh, of our business. And again, this department, uh, we have the skills to be able to, to drive that type of, of process development. And that's a, a large part of where they're applied. Aaron, can you talk about the uh, pharmaceutical industry as a whole? You know, things are, are really changing rapidly. Uh, what do you foresee in the in the next five or ten years? Yeah, I agree. There's, there are definitely things changing, and unfortunately, a lot of those things are very difficult to forecast or uh, be completely prepared for. But I think there are some things that um, that we do see uh, in terms of trends, and one of those the drive to really be efficient, to really you know to find efficiency in everything we do. Uh, we talk a lot about lean manufacturing, lean processes. Uh, we also move into this era of what's referred to as quality by design, mm -hmm. uh, which is a new, um, uh, sort of a new approach to, to the whole regulatory process and filing drug applications. Essentially, the intent really is to, to understand your processes. And by understanding your processes, you, you create for yourself a lot of flexibility in the way uh, you actually manufacture those drugs, keeping the patient in mind. So this new regulatory environment is, is going to continue to drive change in this industry, uh, hopefully helping us, you know, hopefully that's aligned with our objective of driving down costs, right, and, and creating that manufacturing flexibility, which, which will afford us the portability uh, that we're also striving for. One last question for you, Aaron. Um, why, in your opinion, is Merck such a great company to work for? So I think there are obviously there are a number of reasons and certainly a lot of things that keep me here. But I think probably the biggest part is just you know, we have such a, such a, a great base in the people that we have, such such strong scientists and engineers. You know, I guess when I came to Merck, I was very impressed by the people I met. You know, people who not only are very smart and they obviously are, but people who are very engaged, very dedicated very committed to what Merck stands for. You know, when we talk about putting the patients first and developing, you know, drugs to, to really improve the quality of life, that sounds great. And, and the fact is, it's more than just words. People live and breathe that. There are a lot of people here who are very much dedicated to it. And, and I think we all find great satisfaction in knowing that what we do matters. And, you know, if, if things like that move you, they motivate you, then, you know, it's a, it's a great fit. But just being around people who are motivated and are inspired and, so dedicated to what they do is is actually very motivating in and of itself. Uh, for me, that's probably the biggest thing. I mean, I feel very privileged to work in, a, in an organization that has created so many great opportunities to develop professionally, to get exposure to a, a quite a wide variety of different job functions and challenges. I mean, my job personally is, is very challenging, very technically uh, engaging, uh, highly cross-functional. I work with a, a lot of people, I've built a lot of relationships, and I've also, you know, had the privilege of doing rotations and, and seeing different parts of the organization. I think this company is uh, you know, very dedicated to developing its employees. Our people pipeline being mm -hmm. as important as our, our drug pipeline, there's a commitment to that. I think you know, giving people the opportunity to, to develop professionally, build the skills, is something that, I mean, it may not be unique to Merck, but I think Merck is particularly dedicated to it, and I think it, it goes a long way toward, or toward making a very rewarding job experience for people. Well, Aaron, thank you very much for joining us today on Jobs and Pods. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Aaron Cote is part of the Chemical Process Development and Commercialization Department at Merck & Company. To apply for jobs with Merck & Company, visit them online at merck.com, that's M-E-R-C-K dot com, and click on Careers. For more job casts like this, visit jobsandpods.com. And don't forget, you can also subscribe to our job casts on iTunes. Just do a keyword search for jobs.